but you got it. Congratulations. That's a that's a kill shot. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> three. One. <laughs> two. Three. Action. Action. <laughs> oh man, we've gotten to this point. Car 98. So many people have uh, been asking for this. I actually, ha well, no, wait, sorry. My grandpa brought this back from World War II and uh, I promised him I never shoot it because this is one of the original car 98s. It's all matching serial numbers. Serial number on the top here matches the barrel, the bolt, the stock, all serial numbers matching. It's one of my most favorite uh, rifles. Okay, car 98, uh, made in Germany. Uh, I'm not gonna get into the details on what it is. I will put a link for one. I'll, I'll find a good review on the car 98 and uh, K98 or whatever so that you guys can watch it and uh, it'll most likely will be like one of the Hickok 45's video he does a good explanation on these guns so I'll put one of the links below if you guys want to learn more about the history of it and we'll go from there but for now I'll just shoot it it's an 8 millimeter round here again da -da 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 -da. and it shoots these 8 millimeters okay let's go grandpa thank you so much for bringing this back from World War II that goes right there like that. All right. We'll shoot some motorcycle helmets, see what happens. Jasper, you ready? I'm ready. Uh, okay. Eins, zwei, drei. Auf Wiedersehen. You think so, right there? Yeah. Yeah, right center. Went inside the second one, third one, fourth one, and hit the fifth one. Oh, sixth. Okay, so I got a bunch of stuff lined up over here. Some cabbage, cinder block, steel, ballistic gel from FBI. And uh, we'll just shoot random stuff, see what happens. Oh, for here the wood. Uh, we got some wood too. So we got all kinds of elements here that Earth provides. Again, eight millimeter. We'll shoot some uh, cabbage. Just ready? You ready? I'm ready. Where wait, are you at? Wait, wait, wait. Um, okay. okay, perfect. Ready? Okay, fire in the hole. Oh, that's a that's gonna be a nice salad. <laughs> okay, one more cabbage. That was fun. Okay, here we go. Final. Hole. <laughs> look at here. That's where you get the ground. Yeah, cabron, look at this thing. We have to. No, the deer around here will come eat it. No, the rabbits, rabbits. The rabbits and deer, snakes. So this is all biodegradable. I don't mind leaving the stuff here. Either way, it's my grandpa's lake hey, over come here. Hey, you, you say snakes? Snakes eat the cabbage too. Uh, okay, <laughs> the, ve the vegetarian. The, the, the vegan the snakes. Vegan, the vegan. Hey, <laughs> cabron. <laughs> uh. Okay, next. Uh, what do we got? Some steel. I got these steel beams. Okay, that's pretty ready. I'm ready. Oh, cut that one too. I've cut all three of them in my hand so far as they fly out. Does that impress you? Yes. Okay, good. Really for impressive. <laughs> let's go further back for this. Rule number one, anytime you shoot steel, go as far as possible as back you can. Here we go. Fire in the hole. Oh, did it go inside the second one? Yes. Oh, fourth. Catch. Oh, wow. What a nice entry. Look at that. Went in, but it did not come out, come out from the second uh, panel. But where did the bullet go? It hit right over here on the top. Do you see that? Right there. Yes. It splashed. But where's the bullet? Uh, a lot of that was lead, so it probably just disintegrated. But the jacket is probably the jacket stripped off somewhere over there. All I can see is cabbage right now. <laughs> just all I see is purple. Okay, let's shoot the pa -pa -pa -pa, some cinder blocks. Let's change our momentum, our uh, uh, angle. That's right, this one might fly back a little bit. Uh, okay, we'll shoot some cinder block now, see what happens. The, the sights on this, they're unbelievable. Center, every time. Fifth! I caught all five of them so far. Exactly where I'm shooting at, it's a, well, I should have kind of aimed a little higher because there's a little center divider on this thing. But there it is, it broke one of them. Looks like it came right out. 
and hit this one. Actually, went in and out of that one. Mm. I'm not seeing a lot of the. Uh, what kind of bullets am I shooting? You notice how I'm being all gentle with this? I'm gentle with all my guns, but yeah, so the soft tips and it's got the copper jacket, a lot of lead inside. But I'm not catching any of the lead. Okay, uh, how thick was that metal, do you think? Uh, Steel beam. Like a quarter, quarter inch. inch, quarter inch. Quarter inch? Probably. Okay, so quarter inch of that. And then next we got, the, we got some wood, but I also want to shoot this uh, ballistic gel, 10% gel. Ready? I'm ready. Fire in the hole. Yeah, I hit the ground right over there. Aha! Six one. <laughs> the entrance is so small. Yeah, look at the cavity wound. Oh my god. The car 98, here's one bullet for you. Okay, thank you. Uh, I put a cabbage on top of that steel target. Okay, all yours. Nice. Cabron, let me see if I aim. You missed? Yeah, cabron. How is that possible? Oh, you can catch it. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> cabron, wait, 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 wait. Let me see. Oh, you hit the left side. Okay, let me try now. You had your chance. I have my chance, I know. Yeah, all your fans that make fun of me that say you're the best shot. Now I missed twice. Now you missed twice. Let me show you. Because this is my grandpa's. He's not gonna let you insult me. Yes, <laughs> let me show me, show me, show me, show me. Oh! How about that? That's good. Oh, it's the only one I missed. Cabron, how I miss? Huh? How I miss? Cabron, this is classic. This is, you need experience with this one. This oh, is gentle. Okay. You need to be gentle with this. This is not an AR-15, AK-47. Look at that. It disintegrated that cabbage in a bunch of pieces. Yeah. It's amazing. What's going to happen if I shoot the steel? Is it going to mess it up? I don't know. Let's go find out. The steel was sent to us by uh, shootsteel.com. Thanks to them for sending this over. I appreciate it. Let's shoot it and see what happens. I think it's supposed to be for uh, rifle rounds, if I'm not mistaken. AR-500 steel. Just pretty go back for this one. I'm a little worried. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Oh. Very nice. Is that it, maybe? Uh, I don't know where it hit. It could be this. Could be that right there, but there's no ding in this plate. Come on, give me a favor. Put yeah. one more cabbage over there. You want to hit it? I want to hit it. I don't okay, know how. You have a cabbage. <laughs> I'll put a watermelon for you. No, it's one cabbage over there. Guys, I'm sorry I missed, but I want I, I want to try one more time. I want to hit this thing. I really want to hit this thing. Okay. Come on, how you aim? Come on, whatever you see, you hit. Come on, whatever you see, you hit. Okay, don't embarrass yourself now, just buddy. Your fans are... Again, you hit to the right. You're going right. Try a little bit more left. What? One more time, that's it. No more. Ah, you got it. It went a little bit to the left. That's why it didn't explode nicely. But you got it. Congratulations. That's a, that's a kill shot. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, watch the difference between you and me. Uh, my my salad is a little bit bigger. <laughs> your salad is small. <laughs> okay, uh, you like more chunky stuff yeah, in my, your salad. Yeah, yeah my salad is. <laughs> Wait, does it even taste good though? Oh, try. It's really good. Let me see. Oh wait, there's some lead over there. Um, Let me see. No, 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 let's not eat that. There's lead in it. Let's go. <laughs> it tastes good though. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I want to eat. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, let's go zoom, shoot, shoot, uh, use. Let's go shoot some uh, uh, other stuff over there. One, I'm going to put three rounds on this one. Not going to shoot all of them. Okay. 
Here we go. Final. Ah. See, that's how you aim, Jasper. Let me show you. Yes. Okay, let's go to the lake. They're gonna float, you think? I think so, yes. Let's see. It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, no, it's not coming. That, that one not coming? Oh, yeah, it's coming, there it is. Yeah, oh, come on. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's try the melon. <laughs> Take a little bit, but. Five rounds. One, two, Okay, that melon is not coming back up. Waste of uh, three dollars. Miss. Your hit. Oh, let me see. It went down. Oh no! I, I maybe hit half of it. Oh, your hit! I. Ah, that was a hit too, right? I, I don't know. Here. But the first one, yes. Let me hear it one more time. Oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah, one yeah. is good. This is of it. <laughs> okay, we got it. <sighs> German gunpowder. Okay. Uh, we got a couple more things to shoot. Let's go back that way. Okay, next we'll shoot a car door PT Cruiser. My grandpa told me I can borrow my grandma's uh, PT Cruiser door, so that's what I did. Uh, there's a couple 9mm shots on that door already, and we'll just be able to compare the side-by-side 9mm -side entry versus a 8mm Mauser using a car. I'll put two rounds. That's pretty ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm gonna go one high, one low. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. These three over here, these were nine millimeters. And this is the eight millimeter uh, Mauser. And these are the eight millimeters. The back side. Perfect. Looks like the exit wound was much larger than those nine millimeters. And that's a perfect kill shot. Uh, wood. Let's shoot some wood. Okay, we got some. Uh, inch and a half lumber over there let's shoot that two shots ready just buddy i'm ready huh. look how centered it went <laughs> it's, yeah i don't think it could have gone any more center than that i went a little bit lower so it doesn't crack it talk about accuracy that's my first shot this one i went lower Oh, look at that. Two. These are about inch and a half thick. Three. Four. Well, technically kind of five of them, but really it went through four. And the bullet is stuck right in there. So, uh, inch and a half, inch and a half. Six inches. Six inches of uh, wood stop the eight millimeter we got some paper over here some walmart paper for all you tree huggers i do apologize in advance it's part of the testing science channel so we have to do this we have no choice there are these uh 500 is it 500 sheets yeah 500 usually there are 500 sheets of room of fire uh, paper <laughs> fire <laughs> let's go we'll shoot the left side only or the right side tree huggers yeah cabron people yeah they get upset i don't blame them. i know i know okay i mean who else uses paper anymore but they right they right no but i'm helping the uh support the industry we buy the paper it creates work for the other people to go chop down trees to make more trees in the forest 
Without us, it wouldn't happen. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, here. That's funny. I don't think it works like that. Yeah, it works like that because but, wait, you're wait. So, if you're buying, you're helping the economy. Yeah. You're helping people to go back to work, to chop down more trees, to bring in the factories, and you create jobs. And then somebody who, has to buy the product. Who plant the other ones? People go plant the trees. That creates a job for them. They chop them down. Okay, okay. Because you have to make room for the old trees when they fall down or they break or whatever. And then you plant new ones. You have to make room so that the, so when you put uh, the, the... Yeah, I got it. I got you got it? it? Yeah. Oh, okay. come on. <laughs> Sorry, that was a, a little back and forth. Okay, here we go. Creating work for future generation. <laughs> Creating work for future generation. Uh, okay, let's go. Fire the hole. Center shot again. Ah. A little higher, good. Let me put this away. Two beautiful shots. It's getting a little windy, huh? Yeah. I don't bring knife today. You always have a knife. I know. Thank you. Okay. Five hundred sheets. No, is it 500 uh, that sheets? one is a hundred. No, five hundred sheets is right over here. Oh. Really? They're always 500. Oh. 500 over here, in and out. Uh, another 500. As you can see, there's a lot of lid in there. What is that? Is that the wood? No, that's paper. Came out of this one, sort of. Oh no, there it is, right there. Yeah, it's there. It's hot? Ah! It's hot. So there it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a wild guess. The other one is here too, but I don't wanna uh, mess with it. I don't wanna open this up because all this paper will go everywhere. So it went through two and it stopped on the third one. It, uh, it, punched, it punched the paper, it broke it, but uh, it broke a tree, but it really went inside too. But all that energy pushed it inside the third one. Uh, aluminum block down there. I've shot that aluminum block with 20 millimeter, 50 caliber, a bunch of other stuff. It's soft enough to where we can see some difference, but hard enough to where it can catch a lot of the rounds. So again, a couple of rounds, the eight millimeter. Jasper, you got your ears. Let's go back a little bit. It might actually fall down. Yep. Yeah, shoot the bottom. Should I shoot the bottom? To see if you hit. Okay, <laughs> oh, you don't think I'm gonna hit? I don't know. That's a two inch target at the bottom. <laughs> Ah, okay, I missed. Went too high. You purposely wanted me to shoot it, right? Because you know I was gonna miss. So, this was a 20 millimeter round we shot in the desert. Oh man, that thing went in. That's like three inches deep. And this is the eight millimeter Mauser. It created a little like a cave in there. It's about, if I have to guess from here, from what I'm seeing, that's about half inch. Half inch deep or so. Maybe more. Maybe more, it's possible more. I don't know. But that's it, that's a nice, actually, that's not bad. Okay, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, Dankeschön. I'll see you guys next time.